Well, today, following another senseless killing, the 10th in the city, which is twice the number that we saw at this time last year, and with manning levels being allowed to drop to the lowest levels since the early 90s, and with homicides, not only homicides, but violent crime up, and the inability of uh, the Bridgeport Police Department to get the resources and the man support that they need from the administration. We've asked the governor uh, by letter to consider sending state troopers to work hand in hand with local police, with our great police department here in the city of Bridgeport to assist in providing safety and security. I think it's important to note that we're, we're standing here where the two most recent homicides have happened in the city of Bridgeport in the west end or the west side of the city. Uh, only weeks after, nine people were shot and one killed in the Trumbull Gardens section of the city. That was probably as recorded as the worst shooting, single shooting incident in the city's history. We need help. We're asking for state troopers to join Bridgeport police officers um, in making our city, uh, this neighborhood, and all the neighborhoods of the city safer. People elect people to lead. They elect them to lead competently, especially in the area of public safety. At bottom, for our responsibility is providing public safety in every part of the every part of the city and every neighborhood. That starts with a good, well-funded, well-manned police department. Unfortunately, over the past four or five or six years, that department, our great department, has been allowed the manpower to uh, drop to its lowest level since the early 90s. What we've seen now is a jump in in violent crime, a doubling of the homicide rate, most recently with these two individuals being killed. That's not, uh, that, that's not the result of, of bad contract negotiations. Unfortunately, and I hate to say it, it's a result of failed leadership. Uh, the city needs, and, and, and the citizens of this city deserve uh, to be able to live safely in their homes and in their neighborhoods. Children deserve to be able to walk to school or, or go out in the summer and play in a safe neighborhood. Um, it's not going to happen if, if this road continues. So fond dreams of 18 months from now, what may or may not happen, um, is not what this is about. This is about public safety now. Unfortunately, because of the situation that's been allowed to happen, I'm making a request, and I'd ask the mayor to join me in this request to bring state troopers down to work hand in hand with the great Bridgeport police officers to make this neighborhood and every neighborhood in the city safer.